Over the last few episodes, we've talked about what is diabetes and how it affects your body and increases the risk of various complications like heart disease, kidney problems and even stroke. Now, if you also have high blood pressure and high cholesterol along with your diabetes, it increases your risk of complications by many folds. So today, we will talk about the A, B and C that you can follow to reduce your risk of complications from diabetes. I'm Dr. Samir Gupta and I'm Dr. Sonia Lal Gupta and welcome to Doctors on Call. Taking care of your diabetes and the conditions that come with it can help you lower your chances of heart and blood vessel disease. Even if you have heart disease or have already had a heart attack or a stroke, every step you take to keep your ABCs in your target range will help lower your risk of future heart disease or a stroke. Let us understand what is the ABC of diabetes management. A is for A1C, your A1C check which also may be reported as estimated average glucose tells you your average blood glucose for the past 2-3 to three months. B is for blood pressure. Now high blood pressure makes your heart work harder than it should. C is for cholesterol. Your cholesterol numbers tell you about the amount of fat in your blood. Some kinds like SDL cholesterol help protect your heart. Others like LDL cholesterol can clog your arteries. High triglycerides raise your risk of a heart attack or a stroke. Now let us understand what you should aim for. A1C levels below 7%. Blood pressure below 140 by 90 or lower in some cases. LDL cholesterol levels below 100. Now let us see what some of the doctors in the community have to say about it. So what is ABC management of diabetes? Why I am here to make you understand the diabetes management. It's a very simple mnemonic which stands for ABC is a simple alphabet but in diabetes it stands for A stands for HbA1c that is the 3 months average control of glycemic values. B stands for blood pressure and C stands for cholesterol. So why you need to understand ABC is that if you want to control your diabetes which is a bad metabolic disorder you have to control the ABC part that means if your sugars are controlled your 3 months average of glycated hemoglobin will be normal that is A. If your blood pressure is controlled that means if you are hypertensive your blood pressure is controlled and your B part is controlled and if you are uh, having a bad cholesterol in your circulation which is stands for C if you control that so that means if you control the a b c of this diabetic mnemonic that means you are overall controlling the diabetic metabolic complication so this is a very simple measure to understand about diabetes it may not be pertinent and right to look at diabetes merely as a problem of elevated sugar in the blood because this elevated sugar in the blood on one hand causes some symptoms sometimes like excessive urination or loss of weight or have to go to the uh, uh, loo very frequently at night feeling very thirsty and so on and so forth but unfortunately that's not very common and most of the people with diabetes develop surreptitiously. It is also imperative to understand that controlling diabetes is not merely the story of controlling sugar alone. We also have to control blood pressure, which is very common in people with diabetes. It is also important to control the cholesterol aspect of the problem, which also contribute to a large extent of the heart and the kidney problems. Changing your diet and lifestyle and supplementing it with medicines as required go a long way in controlling your diabetes and reducing your risk of complications. Please remember your ABCs in managing your diabetes and having a healthy life. Well, that's all for now. See you next week.